morning, y'all. Hi, my name is Tamir, and this is the Tam Tam Vibes channel. So today, I will be vlogging on the day of life of the stair process and tick. Working on a holiday, y'all, it is Thanksgiving. And if you're off, I hope you're being safe at home, enjoying this beautiful day. Um, but your girl gotta work. So I'll be taking y'all on the journey of showing you like how the department is, what I do, you know, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. And it is now 6.09. I'm very early for work, and so I'm just going to chill in my car until like 6.15 and then go in. I don't have to be clocked in until 6.30, you guys. I work 6.30 to 3 today. So, yeah. Good morning. Get y'all butts up. <laughs> Good morning again, you guys. I'm clocked in. So, now I'm just coming in, turning on my mics. And then I'm about to put on my hat and get it popping. Uh, yeah, I got good energy today. It's been a good month for me. Your girl is now 25. She didn't moved. And um, I just didn't have a lot going on. Started working a part-time job and just all that good stuff. So that's one of the reasons why it's taking me so long to make a video, but now I'm back. And your girl has been learning some stuff too because I noticed thumbnails was a little off, video editing was a little off, videos were a little off. So you guys, I'm trying to do better at recording. So yeah, I hope I'll be able to up my game but everything is a learning process, so y'all are on this process with me. So you guys, since I'm the only one in the apartment, I just chose to take my mask off because it's not required, y'all. And right now I'm just looking at the department. The department looks amazing because your girl worked yesterday night. It's a struggle. It was a struggle getting up this morning, I ain't gonna lie. But, um, so everything looks good. Pushing, you know, synthes. If you guys are in stair processing, you know, synthes is very important. Has to be pushed up every night. We feel, I don't know. We didn't push it up last night. So I'm pushing up now and just making sure to take these empty carts um, back there. So they'll be out the way um, and not in front of the elevator right here and about to get started on my test stay tuned <laughs> y'all if y'all have these kind of auto plays in y'all department y'all know the struggle. I hate these. So I now clean that. I'm gonna just take y'all along the ride to see the struggle. So you have to put all your strength into this. Getting tighter. And you gotta make sure that thing is tight because y'all, if it's not, it's it's not good. <laughs> then you're gonna really hear problems. Then you have to power it off. Power it back on. Say no, because we need to run a warm up first. Power it off. Power it back on. You're gonna hit two, because you don't want to do that yet. 
You're gonna hit yes because you do want to warn a bully, but not yet. And it's does it require a warm up? You want to hit yes. Now, is the test ready? Yes. And there we go. Why my warm up is running, I'm just gonna sit down here and chat with y'all for a while. So, good thing about today is, um, since this is a holiday, there are no scheduled surgeries. So, I'm here just to do whatever comes, most likely for the equipment and the um crash cart so right now i have nothing which is great awesome um and i shouldn't have any um surgeries unless they're emergencies so like anything dealing with covid that's emergency um and you know you never know what could possibly happen on a day like this so for now we're just chilling I'm running these tests um on this side, and then when I'm done on this side, I'll go to the other side and do my warm ups. And then I'll do a little busy work, um, sending up trays that needs to be sent up, um, stale trays, at sterile trays. Um, and then there, yeah, just go with the flow and see what comes throughout the day. Basically what I showed you an example of is just making sure that your dates on your low sticker match your sticker that comes out of the autoclave because you don't want to run all these loads with the wrong dates on them and guess what if it needs to get pulled then they're pulling from they have the incorrect date so you just want to make sure everything is correct and I just pretty much it's easy peasy all you gotta do is just twist it up and we're on the next date and um, just make sure that it matches up to the low sticker because that can cause confusion and what to write on it. And just make sure it's correct because baby, they don't play. So y'all, right now what I will be doing is taking these stair wraps off of this um, cooling rack and putting them on storage for them to be able to be transported upstairs. So when having a release, you wanna be very careful because you don't want any hose. Because then it will be considered unsterile. And as you see on here, it's dates. So it's just indicating the train name, the doctor name, and what how many number it is in the set that it comes in and what day it is supposed to be used on so yeah and also you see on here that it has the sticker load number
Now I have to put my mask on because I have to return this tub to Central, which is right across from us. I'll show you guys. But that's who supplies us or when we make our order, they bring it to us in this tub and once we're done, and we take it back to them. So now y'all, I already stamped the load. The stickers are on top, or um, and now I'm about to write it up. At this hospital, we don't have a computer system and we don't have a scanning system, so we have to write down every situation. So, I'm gonna let y'all watch me while I do that. So right here you see me put Depew because they're all by that same brand and I just put the individual names and if it's more than two that have the same name I just put times how many it is. It was two OB sets so I put times two so yeah and then I put total T equals the amount that was in total which was 11 and y'all it's ready to be pushed in. One random fact is, um, every year at my hospital, they give us a free turkey. And y'all, my still in the freezer. <laughs> but it won't be made on today, clearly. I'm gonna get it made into some gumbo. So yeah, and you also get a free meal, but I don't want their food, so I won't be getting it. Hey y'all, I just wanted y'all to watch me as I prepare and restock this crash cart. It would have been too much to talk while doing it. So yeah, I just want y'all to see the process I have to go through of looking for different things and checking off the, the list and also charging them if it's something that they use out of it. Once I'm done, I will be taking them to pharmacy and they'll do their part and return them back to us. Now the load is finally sterile, ready to come out. Little ticket has been printed, and it's time for me to pull it up. And the difference you can tell from earlier is the tape is now dark marks, which indicate that it has passed the sterilization, which is one form of so how you can tell it passed. So yeah. Just showing you all that detail. Good afternoon. Thank you. Gonna fill them up with vibes.